Colorado State University does all kinds of research involving animals. A plan to build a new research facility for bats has stirred up opposition from far-right commentators and COVID conspiracy theorists. They're convinced that COVID is going to do dangerous COVID bat stuff there. Nothing concerns people more these days than hearing that a research lab is going into their backyard. What about a bat research lab? Fort Collins is not exactly moving down a conservative path in any way, shape, or form. And to go from their transgender ideology to now their bat institution. I'm not sure that I quite get the connection between transgender rights and bats, but anyway, that is that is Sharona Bishop, former campaign manager for Republican Congresswoman Lauren Boebert. Bishop is now one of the conservative media personalities who's pushing to stop the construction of this CSU bat research facility. CSU says the 14,000 square foot enclosure will be a place where they can breed bats and then study how bats transmit infectious diseases. The National Institute of Health has awarded CSU a $6.7 million grant for this. Critics of the project have formed a group called the COVID Bat Research Moratorium of Colorado. They're calling for CSU's construction on the project to be halted until Republicans in Congress hold hearings on the origins of COVID, including conservative theories that a research facility in Wuhan, China intentionally developed COVID and then unleashed it on humans. CSU's biosafety director pointed out that their facility doesn't even have the clearance to work with highly infectious diseases. It seems to me that if you put bats and humans together in a lab setting, what might you get, which is what we dealt with with the pandemic as it was released into the public, into the world, as a, as a pandemic killing millions of people. Because this breeding facility is designed for just that, breeding and then some experiments. And those experiments will be done at something called animal biosafety level two, which um, is not an acceptable biosafety level for Ebola, NIMPA, MERS, SARS-CoV-2. CSU noted that they have conducted bat-related research for decades, never had an incident of human infection. Larimer County leaders have approved construction on this project, and it's expected to be complete by 2025.